Hi, it's Greg, VA7BC, just doing a quick video on getting started with a digital, digital ham access point, the DHAP, from Bill Harrison at Harden Power Systems. Uh, this unit arrived uh, just the other day and uh, had a chance to look at it and get started. Uh, Bill's got a very uh, excellent video that shows how to install the DVAP dongle into the unit and I have already done that so I'm not going to go over that. Um, for this uh, video I'll show you how to configure the DHAP to get started. So the uh, first thing to note is that you should charge your DHAP and it arrives already with this uh, nice charger. So plug it in at the back and there's your port to plug things in. The only thing that I think I'm going to modify here is I'm going to add another connector that will plug in to or have a Anderson power pole connector at the other end so I'll be able to charge this from a gel cell or in a pinch uh, if I have to leave this up for a length of time I, I'll run it from a gel cell. I realize that's not ideal with the NICAD or, or sorry nickel metal hydride pack in here but I'm sure it'll work. Uh, so what you're going to need to get started is some sort of monitor and this is a very cheap uh, TFT monitor that I bought on eBay from China and uh, it is really uh, not of good quality and not of good resolution but I chose it because it was inexpensive that it ran off 12 volts and that it uh, uses a phono plug here so the phono plug goes right into the video port of the DHAP. Um, next thing that um, I'm going to need for my setup is a keyboard and I've chose uh, this nice small keyboard that's wireless. There's the wireless dongle and the um, touchpad is built in and that's uh, that particular keypad is this one which I purchased from an eBayer in uh, the United Kingdom. Um, so and now to get this run to run, I uh, take out uh, the DHAP's integral 80211N Wi-Fi dongle. I'm going to plug in my USB hub here, and then I'm going to plug in the two dongles that I have. This is the one that will work with the keyboard and this is the one that comes with the DHAP to provide Wi-Fi. Okay so I think we're ready to go. Uh, make sure my keyboard is turned on and we'll turn on the DHAP and boot things up. As it's booting up, you'll see the screen start to flow. Resolution on this particular screen is extremely poor. In fact, I can't read the lines that are scrolling by, but that's not going to be too important because as you'll see, it'll come up with a, um, with a nice oh, Windows-like screen that'll be easy for us to use. Okay, so here comes the screen. So as the screen comes up, it's a little difficult to see here, but the DVAP tool um, loads up. And um, it says, no gateways found. Please close DVAP tool and check your internet connection before restarting. I'm just going to click OK there. What you'll want to do here is... Um, Put your station call sign in there, so I put VA7BC in that field. And uh, if you don't want the default frequency, you can choose your own frequency to enter here. And once you've got that done, um, you can close this. So let's uh, double click here, close, and exit. The next thing that I wanted to do 
is is configure the Wi-Fi. And that is because I generally don't use or and won't be using this with an insecure Wi-Fi connection. Um, if you're using an insecure connection, you don't have to configure it. But I'm going to uh, operate off my cell phone. So let's see if I double click that. Um, what you can do here is scan for a connection and then it'll show up uh, what connections are nearby. The trick here is once you select a connection to uh, double click it, open the connection, and then where it says password, it's grayed. That's not where you enter the password for the Wi-Fi connection. Rather, enter the password for the Wi-Fi connection where you see it listed as PSK. And then close that. And should be all ready to go. So I'm just going to click over here, shut down. And this will shut down the unit. So my screen's off. I'm just going to shut this down now. I'm going to take out this. I don't need my keyboard or my monitor anymore. So I'm just going to take the Hardened Power Systems Wi-Fi dongle, place the Wi-Fi dongle back in its proper USB data port here, and unhook power. So now I've got the DHAP alone, and it's ready to go. So to get it up and running, that's it. Let it boot up, get your D-Star radio on the correct frequency, and you can get started. So we'll stop the video there. I hope that helps you get started with the DHAP. Um, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section. 7-3 from Vancouver.